Hi, this is Molly, and I'm here with Alex, one of our trainers here at Boost. And Alex, last time we met with you, you were new here to Boost and telling us some about your background and what you enjoy doing. So can you tell us a little bit about how that's been going since then? Yeah, it's been a crazy year, to be honest with you. Like first year through Boost, I've met a lot of really awesome people, trained a lot of different type of clients. Um, the year took a, a crazy turn pretty early on when I first started. I started training a member here named Aaron Fitzsimmons, and he is a prosthesis, which is a doctor who builds prosthetic legs and he is in the world of Paralympics and has a connection and he actually asked me to start training some of his clients that he works with and that was an unexpected turn. I had no idea how to approach that at first but it was a world that I kind of got introduced to this year which was an incredible experience. Very cool. So can you kind of tell us a little bit about what you've been doing and how that's been going? Yeah, so I started training Aaron in September and then after a month of working with him, he asked if I would be willing to train some of his clients. And at first you're a little hesitant because you're overwhelmed by the offer and then you realize what an incredible opportunity it is to do something like that. So I started training one client with uh, online training and he lived out in Milwaukee. Uh, after a few months of training, he had a four second PR in his 400 yard dash and a one second PR in his 100 meter dash. So it was an instant success. And that opened a lot of doors for me, not just with him, but with the Paralympic world and his team. And I got connected through his team and started working with them in the beginning of February. So can you tell me a little bit more about how it all started in February? Yeah, so after we had a lot of success with that client, I was introduced to the coaches at a coaching clinic out in Milwaukee. So I flew out there for the weekend, got to meet a lot of his uh, teammates, and got to see how this all worked. I was only working with him. I had little idea of how big this world was, and it was overwhelming, if I'm going to be completely honest. But it was also at the same time something I was really grateful for. So after that coaching clinic, I got invited the following month to March to the U.S. Paralympic National Championship as one of the coaches for the team. And that was my first real experience of not just track and field, but the Paralympic world. And being a part of that was really unique. I think I gained a lot of perspective on what I think most people don't get to see behind the scenes. This is a population that is so small in the grand scheme of things, but they are just as important as everybody else. And after that first coaching meeting and that first coaching clinic, I was a little bit more prepared for what was to come. But being in a big stadium with fans and meeting the parents and getting to see these kids and build a relationship with them, it was a really humbling experience to be able to help them. But on the flip side of things, I didn't realize how much it was beneficial for me as a person. I think when you're around those kids and you realize how genuine they are and how much they care about, not just sports, but just being cared about, it goes both ways. And it was an experience that I will never forget. And that experience, I, was, I stayed on the team all the way through March, all the way through the summer. So I got to travel to Arizona. And then we just finished up down in Miami for the US Paralympic Trials, which will lead to the Paralympic Championships, which will be out in Paris. Wow, that is so cool. So what is this, what do you think this looks like going forward? For I think you? this is a future for me. I, I really feel passionate about it. I actually have one client here in Nashville that I've been training at Boost, but this is a career for me. I, I really generally feel that way. It's still new and I'm still learning a lot, but going to these different meets, building relationships with other coaches and other athletes on different teams all across the United States. I'm currently working with GLASA, so Great Lakes Adaptive Sports Association. So most of our athletes are based out of the Chicago, Milwaukee area. We have some in Texas, Arizona, Florida, but meeting other athletes from around the country in you know, the western side, more south, other teams. But for right now, the focus is just working with GLASA and building that. Obviously, the Paralympics are gonna be happening here on August 28th out in Paris. I think it's a great opportunity for people to get to see that world and to see what I see in person and how elite level athletes these people really are. And after that, I won't be attending, but going forward, preparing for Los Angeles, that's a huge event for us, for the Los Angeles Paralympics. But just expanding my own horizon and building my own brand and making a name for myself in this world. Because I think when you first start off, you're a little overwhelmed and you're behind the eight ball. But working with this team and building relationships with multiple people, it's an opportunity for me to really make a career outside of what I do for Boost. 
Well, thank you, Alex, for the update and, and letting us know about your passion and what you've been doing. And we look forward to hearing from you to see where this leads in the future. I appreciate it. Thank you so much for your time. Thank <laughs> you.